What's going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stocked up trading floor. Looking at the market from this week, we could see it was a little bit choppy for SPY overall, but a handful of individual stocks had some uh, pretty good moves. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Starting out with the hybrid bot plays, there were two alerts this week, one with Walmart and one with Uber. They both popped up by around 30%, which were nice moves. Uh, they definitely were weren't anything crazy like the NVIDIA put play from the other week that popped up by 272% or even the AMD play from uh, last month that popped up by 260%. But again, uh, nice, good, easy moves. Um, looking at some other alerts throughout the week, we could see that there was an ARM and a AFRM play on Monday, and these both moved in some pretty great ways. The Affirm play popped up by 184%, and the Arm play popped up by 42%, which was nice to see. Uh, there was a losing play with Hood, Robin Hood, this week um, on the 26th, and that one did fail. But besides that, I would say it was a pretty good week. Again, the market didn't move in like an extremely crazy way, but uh, there were a handful of good moves with individual stocks, which was nice to see. Uh, shifting over into the theta plays, as we always say, Shorting put options is one of the best strategies out there when done correctly. So if you don't actively short put options already, definitely consider looking into it. As long as you have a stock that you're fine owning for the long term and it's around a price that you're fine owning it at, um, shorting put options can be extremely beneficial because you get paid to buy uh, that stock that you'd be otherwise fine owning and uh, you get... Uh, put in a nice position where you are able to capitalize off of the uh, just structural mispricing of options. And then uh, from the point when you sell the put options, you also have a lot of flexibility to just adjust the position and uh, just uh, play some favorable trades. So if you need any help with that, feel free to reach out to Tom Hunter or myself in the trading floor and we'll definitely help you out. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching and let's have a great week in the market.